Hello fellow stitchers. I'm Vicki, Stitch and Button, and I am here for floss tube number 38. Today is Wednesday, August 14th, and I actually have some progress to show. Mm. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I am going to get right into it, I guess, because there's nothing much going on. As far as life, it's pretty boring, which is a good thing. Uh, I figure for me, if it's boring, that's been a good time. Sometimes the exciting stuff doesn't pay out. I have been doing a fair amount of stitching, I think. No finishes. Oh, I lied. I even had a finish. <laughs> How you like that? I had... Most of it's due to the School of Magical Stitches homework. So... I had the floss tube itches around my nose and a bit of bite on my elbow. There you go. There's my update, my life update. So let's go with, I'm going to go in the, I have a list, you know, I always have, have a list because else I forget. One of the first things I was stitching on, which I think I showed my last one, is Elegant Squid. I had to do, I think, a thousand stitches on it. And I was somewhat there. So I finished up my thousand stitches and promptly put it away. But it's looking good. It's looking good. Let's see. Again, I am using Rami Creation Threads that I found on Dames of the Needle Etsy. She has them available. And here it is. I finished up the squid for my thousand stitches. Believe it or not, that squid and some of this green equal the whole thousand stitches. Not bad. I have some green to put inside. There's another one of these over there. And that little doohickey that goes up the center here. I don't know if that's supposed to be like an ink blot type thing or water. I have no clue. Tracy, what is it? Is it just filler? Am I just looking for too far into it? Uh, I'm happy with it. I can see if I get back to it for homework, I could see me finishing it. I'll definitely finish it this year. Okay, Audrey, I will finish it this year. Now I'm going to watch. I'm not going to want to stitch on it. Because I said I was going to finish it this year. I'm like, nah. I know me. No, I'll finish it this year. Definitely. Silk Weaver fabric. Old Silk Weaver fabric. And Needle Minder is on my Etsy. Plus, I do have other news. That's right. I opened up a group. Just called Stitch and Button. You can look for it on Facebook. Just do a search for Stitch and Button. There's a page and then there's a group. Most, uh, I, I think I tried to invite all my all the people on my friends list. And I did tell them to go ahead and invite whoever they knew that might be interested. That way I have a place to list all my things. I opened up albums. So I have like a project bag album, needle minders, different prizes, stuff like that. Feel free to join me or not. It doesn't matter. No, it's up to you. No pressure here. I'll put the link down below. And for Elegant Squid, I'll make sure I put a picture up so you can see what it's supposed to look like when it's done. Obviously, in different colors, though. So, that is that. And then I... Let's see. I worked on Liberty Tree. I had to do a thousand stitches on something I gave up on. Well, I think I put Liberty Tree and America Tree in Time Out UFO several times. I'm just not into it. I mean, it's okay. I like it. But I guess my tastes have changed since I wanted to do <coughs> all the trees. <coughs> Excuse me. And I didn't quite have a whole thousand stitches on Liberty, but... I finished it. This is done in all Vic Vicky Clayton silks, and I forget what the fabric was called. 
I looked it up. Can't remember. This is by M Designs. It was in a magazine, the July August issue, two thousand ten. Okay. Get that out of the way. Okay, back to this. You didn't notice the difference. You'll be all right. All right. So my plans are to add red and white accessories, thingamabobs, which of a higgies. You know. I think I might put an eagle charm at the top. Red and white stars. I don't want to add any more blue. I want to add red and white and maybe some silver. So I'll find some stuff in my stash. I'm sure I have stuff. I'll think of something. So eventually, but, and I can't afford to get it uh, framed professionally right now. So it'll get ironed and hung up for now to go with the Christmas tree that's sitting over there waiting to get decorated. But I'm happy with it. Again, that's Vicky Clayton silks. You can't get those anymore, but I'm sure you can find something. <gasps> Cupid. Cupid would go good for a red. It's my favorite red. And silk weaver fabric. I did say, did I say? I don't remember if it was in. It's the July, August 2010, just cross stitch magazine. You should be able to find it in there. M Designs. Then I had 960 stitches on this and I needed a thousand. So I figured, well, the other one that I gave up on a few times also was the America Tree. Also by M Designs. And the reason why I, kept on, I keep on giving up on this is because I decided I really wanted to use this red, white, and blue thread. And it's, let's see, it's Dinky Dice. And it's Aussie Pride. <coughs> there. And I only had one skein. So I knew I had to make it last. And that Liberty over two was like a skein and a half. So I knew I wasn't going to have enough if I only had one skein. So I decided, Ma, I'll do it over one. Yeah, me and my bright ideas. Do you know how small over one on 32 count is? It looks pretty. Look how small. I mean, it's sideways. It's supposed to go like that. But just for the sake of showing you, that's what it looks like. I needed to do 40 more stitches. I did a few more than 40 just to finish up that letter and the piece of thread. And it's done for now. I Let me see. The fabric is definitely a silk weaver. It's a Lugana and 32 count limited edition. It's one of their one-offs. <coughs> so the R is done. It'll get put away until maybe I need it for another challenge on magical stitches or something. Or I feel like torturing myself with one over one. I then... I made a purchase on eBay. I found two good listings for 22 count ADA for my heaven and earth designs so one was lined let's see why it's gridded yeah lined like paper right it's gridded now the grid is one line for every 20 stitches so it's not every 10 it's every 20 but it works and it was a great price so it came in and then I was sort of looking at it I'm eyeing it up and I kept on looking and I decided to start Spirit of the Dragonfly. This is the one that, that Linda bought me from Heaven Nurse Designs when they had their half off. So I decided, I didn't pull all the threads. How many is here? 88 colors? Didn't pull them all. Basically, I'm pulling the colors as I need them. Now, this gave me an epiphany. I've been seeing forever that everybody does one block at a time finishes it and goes on to the next block. So I decided that's what I was going to do. Well, it worked out very well for me. I ended up doing extra credit because I was done all my stitch my weekly stitching and I really wanted to stitch on this. So I used this for extra credit 
and knocked out 500 stitches quick. Okay, quick in two days. It wasn't, yeah, I'm sure people can do that in a day or a little bit or, oh shoot, I wasn't sure if that was a mark or not. It's a piece of thread. Shoo. Okay. Anyway, that's 500 stitches right there. One over one, I'm just using the called for DMC and I'm pulling the colors as I need it. And that's going to work for me. So I'll be parking and doing one block at a time. Now, that being said, that means the other three have Nerf designs and the full coverage Riolis kit of Starry Night need to be done like that too. So... I needed to start homework again on Monday for School Magical Stitches, and my focus started on Space Traveler. And I'll insert a picture here of Space Traveler, and I'll actually show it to you now. Belinda, I know you want to see the progress, even though I say you can't tell. This time I can actually tell the progress. What I've done is, this is the end of page one. So I'm starting the whole fill in the block and then just park it at the end. And that's working out because my biggest problem was trying to figure out what color I want to work on next. I think I've said that before. You're working along and you're like, okay, what, what color do I feel like filling in next? Where do I want to go? At least I know the only decision I have to do, make is, is my next block going to be the, to the right or is it going to be down? So that's where I'm at here. I'm filling all of this in. And I think the first two blocks across, going all the way across are all filled in. Not sure which where that falls in at, but it'll get filled in. And um, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the fact that it's starting to get filled in, that I'm starting to see the TARDIS here. All that's TARDIS. And... I can see more progress and it's not so cumbersome because I know exactly what I'm going to be doing next because I'm just going to fill in the blocks. So the plan is, because I'm going to fit this into a couple more, I, I did um, 200 stitches first of all the fill in around here. Now when I did here, there were about six or seven stitches of the Krynik, so and I had the length so I just did more Krynik coming down to finish off the length because you know what a pain in the rear end it is to thread crinic on your needle and if I got it on there I'm using it so that's done for now and I think this right here is gonna be where I'm saying I gotta fill in all the rest before I move down even more I'm pretty sure this line right here is the bottom of the page if I'm not mistaken so not bad because I get the grid lines are still there even though they're mostly faded I can still sort of see them I don't really use grid lines too much, but it does help. It, it helps, although I don't go by them verbatim. So if I'm doing a stitch, I know that it needs to be before or after the grid line. But now that I'm doing block by block, it might be a little bit different anyway. But I'm liking how this is looking. Even though it's a mini, it's not too bad so far. But then again, I'm only doing sky. I, I'm curious to see what the little bits like the windows and everything and the handle and the light up top I, i'm curious to see what that looks like on a mini if it's going to be way pixelated but that's 200 stitches on that 500 stitches on dragonfly and then so this week i am fitting i think i'm fitting dragonfly in a couple of things for the extra credit for this this count this year this for school magical stitches and I think I fit this into a couple of things for just this week of 200 stitches a piece I might have even fit dragonfly in for 200 stitches and I think I fit priestess in for 200 stitches priestess is a little fiddly because I know that I messed up somewhere and I sort of need to I've been working on fixing it as I go along because when I have an inner design, it's rare that a couple of stitches that you're doing is going to make a big difference. So I'm just trying to make it work. I did frog some of it because it was just too stark and I had to take it out to get my bearings. But I think I'm on the right track. 
another thing that I fit in for my school magical stitches homework is hashtag Audrey is a scary one. The trying to, let me see. I have to history of I have to fill it in so for it's for classes. History of of magic. Okay, so space traveler was for astronomy. Dragonfly has three spots for charms, defense against the dark arts and herbology. History of magic is for scary one, and so is potions. So my whole thing with that is history of magic is about things that happened in the history of magic. I know, shocker, don't. And my story is my witch that's on online. I'll have to put a picture here of the finished. But the witch that's on mine, actually, I don't have to put a picture. It's right here. I've named my witch Audrella. Her name is Audrella, and she's a little-known witch that was in the Battle of the Giants. She helped win the Battle of the Giants, and her name is Audrella. So that's how I fit her in History of Magic. And then she's got a cauldron. She's making a potion. So I'll be able to get 400 stitches in on this. I did do a little bit last night. Did not get much done at all. I think it would sit 64 whole stitches. Which I think I told you before. These Quake are they Quaker stars or are they quilt stars or whatever you want to call them. Those stars up there. I'm not going by the... Um, the only way I'm going by the chart is for positioning and pattern. But otherwise, I'm using colors that I've pulled for everything else. And I'm sort of just fitting them in there. And that's all I got. I'm just fitting them in there. And they'll just look different, which is fine. I think it looks good. It all matches together, so that's what matters more. And I did finish up this one last night. I did the outline of that one and the outline of that one. That's it. That's all 64 stitches right there. So, Audrella. It's good when you can name your projects, right? I have minimal purchases this time. I am waiting for a package from Color and Cotton. I used Heather, Link is my homeboy. Heather's got a, if you watch her video about Color and Cotton, it's a review and a little spiel about Color and Cotton. She's actually got a discount code. So go over to Link is my homeboy. I will put her, I'm writing her down. Oh my goodness. I forgot how to spell. So, I'll put her below. Link is my homeboy. It's Heather. She had a code to save 20%. And I have one color and cotton that was gifted to me. And I figured, you know what? I'm going to get some. So, I got some colors that I knew I wanted. I, I've been wanting some blues. And I don't have a lot of different blues. And it's my favorite color. So, I decided to get a couple of blues. And then I figured, well... I might as well get the first couple in the alphabet. So I got the first two A's, and then it, I think I got like five or six gains. Those are coming in, and also, what else is coming in? My order from Jen over at the Whole Stitch and Caboodle. She's on Facebook. I know I've mentioned her a million times, but I'm she's great and that's where I get a lot of my stuff and uh, she again Facebook it's a group put that link below I have some stuff coming from her and there was something else I don't remember It'll be a surprise for both of us. Both of us, like, there's one. I, I hope there's more than just one other person watching me. <laughs> so it'll be a surprise for all of us. Okay. I did get a couple of things. Oh, 
when I went on eBay, oh, my dog's in the way. Hey, doggy. I said I found two listings for 22 count. So I made another purchase. I didn't think it was bad. Tell me if it is. $15 for two yards of 22 count. It's all two continuous yards. Free shipping. I didn't think that that was a bad deal. So I purchased it. And it came in this long box. My mailman actually had to get out of the truck and come up and hand it to us. And then this heavy duty bag. And on this roll, and I could see it through the bag. I'm like, oh no. It's what I call, or what's actually considered new old stock. So basically it is brand new. I mean, it's, it's new, never used. But I can guarantee it's old stock because they put cellophane tape on it. And when I, it popped right off, I didn't even have to really pull, popped right off and left a stain. And I, I mean, yeah, you can see it through the, on that side too. It's not just see through, you can actually see it when you lay it down. So there's a stain on this fabric from the tape. Just that far, that's it on the end. So I did put it in the review because they should pay attention to that. Anything that's got tape on, do you think they would have uh, noticed that? But for the price, that's fine. The fact that I'm doing heaven and earth designs on these and they're full coverage, you'll never see them anyway. I don't even think you'd be able to see it through white. But uh, that was the only thing. And it's not even the whole, I mean, it's only, what's that? Six inches. It's the first six inches of the roll, so that's not too bad. Just pay attention. Pay attention to that stuff. I don't understand. I guess back in the day they put tape on everything and didn't realize what it was doing. Well, we know 20 years later what it's doing, don't we? So that's the one, the other piece of fabric that I bought. And then the couple of things that I got in the mail. I... Oh, and I did use that fabric before I showed you because I wanted to start Dragonfly. And I don't even feel bad about it. Not even. Today, as a matter of fact, I just got this in today. It's uh, my monthly threads from Victoria Motto. I get just the limited edition. I get six games of the limited edition monthly. And these are the colors she chose for this month. I don't think there's a theme here. I really don't. There's Rustic Plank, Squash on the Vine, Desert Turquoise, Spanish Gold, Lemon Curds, and Morning Sky. Morning with an apostrophe. So, this gold isn't as bright, I wonder. Yeah, that's a little bit better. And two blues, well, the turquoise, but it's a bluey turquoise. Uh, no, it's actually more green than what's showing up there. I did get one blue. And this almost looks like rustic plank. Yeah, and I guess that's rust on, on wood, right? So that's the colors that I received this month. I don't think everybody gets the same color. Do they? Every, every month? Mm -hmm. Hair. It's mine. Okay. So, that is Victoria Motto. And then... I... Belong to... Some groups on Facebook. What group is it? It's uh, Gulf Coast Stitches. That's the group. And Jolie was having... It wasn't really a sale. She had she added, she announced that she added a whole bunch of stuff to her clearance section. So, of course, I had to go take a peek. And if you get one chart, you get more than one chart because they can't go alone. And I had a few in there, and then I whittled it down to three. I really like this feel on Beach Keen. 
Healing Beachy King by Country Cottage. I think that's really cute. Then I also bought, I don't know why I didn't have, I thought I had this and apparently I was wrong because I looked. Witches Teaching Stitching. That is by Homespun Elegance. Witches Teaching Stitching. I mean, are the cats stitching, really? Or are they just holding the loaded threads? And so are the birds. Like, everybody's stitching. Except for the witches. <laughs> and then, I've been eyeing. I've got a couple of these. And a lot of them are cute. But I don't need all of them. But, uh, that's twist. The Little Fobs. I should call them Festive Little Fobs. This is the Woodland Edition. The squirrel. Can you can you deal with the squirrel right there? And there's a woodpecker. The foxes. I bet you that could be a biscornia. I think that's a moose and an owl. Too cute. Too cute. It's a hedgehog. Stop it. Stop it. I just noticed that one. Guess I didn't look too cute close at it, right? Ooh, that would be a cute biscornia because if she's got bunnies. And fox, if they're both the same size. Fox chasing the bunnies. Think about it. Hey, Curry. You watch my... My, uh... Plus two, I think. You like making Biscor news. What do you think? Fox chasing the bunny. Put one on each side. Make that happen. <laughs> so... I will put, let me write that down because I'll forget, you know, you see something shiny. Gulf Coast Stitches. And Julie, she's got her own website. It's not on Etsy. And I am so sure she's still got a whole bunch of stuff on her clearance section. There, was, there were a lot and great prices too. Okay, and then these weren't purchases, but I did receive them in the mail. My friend Glenna and I were talking, and she said she had adopted some 40 count. She is not going to use it. She doesn't like using 40 count. I said, I would use it, because I've got some. I don't use it a lot, but I, I think I could use it, and I really like this color. So I sent her some fabric. Actually, Glenna, I haven't sent it yet. What's today? Wednesday the 14th. It's packed up and it's waiting to go to the mail to the um, post office. I just haven't gotten a chance to get there when they're open. It'll get to you. I know. You, I know you got things going on, but you'll get it. <laughs> anyway, this is. Uh, I forget what she said. What color it was? If she even said it was a color, but this is like a really light tan, almost like a yellowy tan color. And it's just got a piece cut out of it, but it's still a pretty nice size. So 40 count linen. And then seaweed otter. Lisa. Is that your first name, Lisa? Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. I think so. She's seaweed otter. I want to say her first name is Lisa. I remember everybody by their screen names. If I don't see your name on a daily, then I, you're a screen name. And I'm pretty sure. Anyway, Seaweed Daughter. She's on Instagram like that. And if you do floss tube, she's probably commented on you. She watches a lot of floss tube. I guess uh, the zipper pull, one of the zipper pulls on my bag had broken. She said she yanked it and it popped off. And I said, well, send me the pull back. I will gladly fix it. I stand behind my stuff, so I don't mind. So I get a package. I, we were talking about coffee, and she said she had Tim Horton coffee, and she was going to send me some. I was like, oh, okay. I said, well, when you send the pull, just throw the coffee in with it at the same time. That way it's all. So she said, okay. Well, she did not. I think I was sending her a pattern. Oh, one of my patterns when I'm done. I told her she could have it. Anyway, so, she's, I get this package in the mail, it's kind of large, and it's from her, and I open it up, and she sent the whole entire bag, instead of just the pull. She sent the whole bag, and she put the coffee, she double bagged the coffee, put that in the, in the, uh, project bag, 
along with the, it, I mean, it's still, it just pulled off the, the, uh, the pull, pulled off of the lobster claw. And she sent that. And then she sent me this cute pattern. It's a Lizzie Kate and it says, housework never killed anyone, but why take a chance? Exactly. And she also sent a skein of Amber Weeks Dye Works. So thank you, seaweed otter. And I will be doing beading probably next week, so I'm gonna beat up that beat up her thing and get it back to her. Along with uh, her bag. <laughs> the whole entire bag. I told her I was like, you know, you can take that off and send it. She's like, I didn't think about it. <laughs> Funny. All right. And I just dropped my pen on my dog. So, I think I am done for now. I will put all the links below on my group that I started on Whole Stitch and Caboodle, on Gulf Coast Stitches, and whatever else I wrote down here. And that's it for my little bin of fun. I, what's coming up in the next two weeks? Nothing. Hoping it's another boring two weeks where I can actually get some stitching done and some more sewing. I did get a little bit of sewing done and I cut out four more bags to go with the bags that I already had cut out and ironed. All that's ironed, now it's just waiting to get thrown through the sewing machine. Okay, so it, you know, I don't throw it through the sewing machine. But that's waiting to be done. So, Diana, if you're watching this, and it's not in 10 years where you've already gotten the bags, they're right on top. <laughs> I am going to get it. And your fabric is waiting to go back in that bag, the extra fabric. It will come to you, I promise. I just, you know, you just get in a funk, and you, there's certain things you just don't want to do, and sewing was not what I wanted to do. And... I had, I had some stress, and I realized I was having anxiety attacks. It was actually giving me chest pains, which, don't worry, it's not a heart attack. I double-checked. I went to the doctor. He did EKJ. I'm fine. It was anxiety. So I have sort of pressed that what was causing the major anxiety. I pushed that away, and I'm not dealing with that. And there's other things that I just... I don't, I'm not letting it stress me. I've got enough stress that I have to deal with that there's stuff that I don't have to and I'm not going to. That's what I say, right? So, with that, don't forget, don't let anybody steal your sunshine. Have a great day, and I'll see you in a couple weeks.